in this video we are discussing about polymorphism in this chapter this is the last point polymorphism means poly means many many types the examples of hydrozoa we are going to study are pobilia physelia siphonophora etc polymorphism includes more than two types of individuals and these all types of individuals are doing a function for total colony in another terms we can call division of labor in colony in this diagram you see the poly and medusa these two are the basic forms of zooids the poly zooid is cylindrical one end is attached to substratum or attached to main stem of colony another free end has mouth this mouth is encircled with tentacles the polymorphism shows another type medusa this medusa which has a same their structures same origin but body shape is different it is floating free swimming dorsal side is dome like and ventral side has mouth this mouth is again covered or encircled with many tentacles structurally polyp and medusa are same the fundamental formation or layers are same you can observe in this, this diagram the outermost layer ectoderm or epidermis is present in both and innermost layer is called as gastrovascular cavity but shape of this cavity or entire form of polyp and medusa is different these two layers enclose a central layer called mesoglea the polymorphism in obelia shows a two types and two types of polyps two types of polyps which are as sedentary as well as free swimming and then it complete the life cycle in this diagram we see one by one this first it is a colony which consist of colony one portion of colony it consist of the both type of polyps feeding poly that is gastrozoid and another reproductive that is gonozoid gastrozoids has mouth encircled with tentacles and its function is to collect mouth ingestion of food to collect food insert into mouth that is ingestion and it is performing the function for entire colony means digestion is for colony same way another reproductive poly perform the function of reproduction it perform the reproductive function that is it produces medusae in diagram you can observe the medusae birds are there at its free end has opening called gonopore through which medusae are released into water body it shows a sexual reproduction a sexual reproduction is also there it shows budding these 
free milieu C which produces they, they are developed into two forms male and female that is they are unisexual male medusi produces eggs as sperms and female medusi produces eggs and are released into the water body it shows a meiosis then fertilization takes place into water and to a number zygote is formed the growth of zygote that is first division cleavage gastrula takes place into water then it is converted into larval stage called as planula this larva is ciliated it also shows locomotion and then it settles down on develop into a mature poly which has the capacity to develop by budding as well as sexual reproduction and all type of polymorphism can be understood through this life cycle in next example physelia in this diagram we see the photograph of physelia dorsally nematophore is there which consists of gas secreting cells due to which it acts as a float ventrally it has many tentacles in this animal the highest degree of polymorphism is observed many types of zooids are there in this diagram schematic diagram we can name the zooids the gonozoid which is functioning for reproduction gastrozoids are there which are elongated tubular and reproductive in function then the ductilozoids which shows elongated freely hanging into water and they functions like a tentacles are tactile in function they also has the nematocysts that is stinging cells this is the differential character in the phycelia or in this phylum 